subject of open policy. What I would like to know is what open policy means to you in your country. Политика открытого образования, когда люди имеют доступ ко всем учебникам при помощи различных способов, будь это электронные способы, будь это библиотеки или непосредственно, если это касается даже школ. Any additional comments? Um, we we understand uh, by open open access policy. We understand that uh, free access to any educational and content and uh, to culture and whatever. And it should be also available uh, not only all just available online, but it should be <clears throat> accessible for. Uh, for a remixing, uh, a reusing, etc. Because it's really actual for our country. We because um, uh, seventy percent of our population speak only Kyrgyz language, and a lot of uh, books or a lot of different type of contents we have to adapt it and translate to Kyrgyz language. And this is translation is one of the types of this uh, uh, rebuilding of that content and usually we need uh, permission from the authors and it's, but it's really quite expensive but <clears throat> in uh, uh, just like two months ago in Kyrgyzstan we have adopted a new law amendments into the law on intellectual property rights according to which any content which is um, which user use for his educational purposes, he can do um, uh, those um, uh, remixes and uh, um, adaptations without permissions of the author. So our country is, we are a importers of the knowledge. And uh, for us, it's, it's um, understandable that we can uh, we have, we already have, uh, we have to adopt such laws. And how difficult were the laws to be passed <clears throat> in your country? Was that very difficult? Did it take very long? Uh, uh, actually, no, that's just a follow up. I, I was very interested in what she was saying about passing these laws. They can often be quite time consuming. Okay, so Mr. Mm -hmm. will be the best person to answer this question. <laughs> Fine. He's a member of Pontian, he was the one behind. Introducing. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Uh, no, he was okay. not introducing. Officially, it was introduced by a government agency. Okay. So, uh, when I was one of the initiators of such laws, which allowed us to translate books and other writings в доступные форматы. В принципе, депутаты поддерживали, никаких э, больших проблем не было. И правительство тоже поддержало, потому что все понимают, что в условиях ограниченности финансовых ресурсов нам нужно создавать доступ к образовательным ресурсам. И вот как раз, э, понимая это, депутаты поддержали. Почему? Потому что мы на открытых образовательных ресурсах можем сэкономить бюджетные средства. Поддержано было это все на ура. Вот, за что я благодарен и правительству, и нашим, и моим коллегам.